So guys, this is just sort of part two on our uh, interactive um, donation box. Like I mentioned before, if somebody puts a donation in, triggers a new sequence off with a thank you message. Thank you for your donation towards Camp Quality. And it also triggers a audio signal. So I'll give you a bit of a, a look on how I'm do doing this. No, I'm just going to no, switch the power down because we're going to be probing around. We don't want to... Uh, play around with any electronics and stuff like that uh, and I'll spin it around so you can have a look so we have our donation box we've got our radio we have our panels and all the magic in behind it now this layout wiring is still very much prototype stage so to speak uh, we're going to tidy a couple of things up here, but I thought I'd just share it with you in case someone's interested. Now this is pretty, hopefully you can see in the back there. Uh, now this is pretty standard uh, fare for, uh, you know, the P10 or P5 panels. You can see I've got a couple of, P couple of panels up in there. Now probably the trickiest thing I found was um, I wanted this 100% standalone. I didn't want this to be connected interfaced with any of my um, any schedulers or anything like that I just want to be able to walk out when my display was you know, about to start and have it there no, I didn't want to have to worry about scheduling and stuff like that I was just want to keep it super easy so as I said we'll start from we have our, our panels we have our display on it obviously uh, that's going back to a Alan Hansen uh, RPI dash p10 um, board which is connected to a raspberry pi now we're gonna have to try and swing this around a bit so you can see what's going on now i found and it's also talking to alan once you have the the hat on to drive the, the panels there's no spare gpi o outputs available on the raspberry pi now i'm utilizing those gpi o outputs um, to trigger my sequences uh, I, so I had a bit of a thought talked to a couple of people and the easiest solution for me was actually to have another Raspberry Pi so I've got this Pi at the back which has our sequences on it and has my audio on it for has both my sequence on it for just the camp quality if you wish to make a donation etc and it also has the sequence on if this gets triggered for that thank you message and sends the audio you know, just through the 3.5 millimeter jack on the Raspberry Pi out to my little speaker. Okay, <clears throat> and then obviously that sends that X lights generated FSEQ file via the network cables. I could have had this connected straight in um, to this Raspberry Pi, which sends the data out for the P5 panels. So the way that I'm trigger, triggering it in, sorry about that noise, in the donation box, hopefully I can do this around so you can see, is really basic. It's just got a, hopefully you can see this down here. That's just got a little micro switch and I just made it like a little bracket and I ended up just using a little Coro flap because uh, that gave it a bit of flexibility. Really complicated hinge knot, it's a piece of wire, goes through the Coro. And that seems to be working really well for triggering that micro switch. Hopefully when people make a donation, I'll trip that and that sends that signal back through the FPP power compiler on that Raspberry Pi uh, to trigger that other sequence. Now there's lots of information out, out there on how to set up GPI Oh, trigger inputs on Falcon player. Uh, I found it, I'd never done anything like that before. I found it quite easy, quite straightforward. I just had to grab a couple of resistors. I think a 1,000 ohm resistor and a 10, ohm, 10 kilo ohm, uh, 10,000 ohm resistor. Um, the wiring laid out, super simple. Uh, if I can do it, I'm sure everyone else can do it. It gets the, the, the trigger from that little micro switch into the GPI outputs to the Raspberry Pi with via FPP, power compiler, that triggers the new sequence to run and sends the audio fire up for that thank you message. Now another little feature I put in was just a little shutdown button 
Uh, now with FPP 2.0 version onwards, it seems to be a lot more stable about just having the power interrupted, like I said at the start. This is a full standalone uh, setup. I, uh, I just gonna have it like a little shutdown button, which will then shut the Raspberry Pi down properly. So hopefully there won't be any corruption now. I found last year I was running all my display through Falcon Pi, it should be nice and stable. Um, that was just another little trigger I put in. I was more having a bit of a play around through another set of GPI outputs. Um, and then that just runs a script to shut the Raspberry Pis now. That's what I've been playing around with guys. Now, obviously I've got to cover this all up to keep it a little bit semi waterproof, but it's gonna be kept inside, kept um, out of the rain. I'll just put some plastic over it like I've done with my other tune to sign and it just has like a bit of MDF to go on the back to help cover him all up. So that's what I've been working on. If you've got any questions, thoughts, comments, put them below. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.